Here are the tools needed to replace the Big Buck Hunter HD gun camera and or PCB. A multi-bit screwdriver, T10 and T25 Torx security bits, and a number one Phillips bit. Before we get started, I recommend using a clamp to hold down the gun hose to the table you're working on. This will make the procedure a lot less frustrating. First, you'll need to remove the front gun tip. Use the number one Phillips bit to remove the single screw holding it in place. Slide the colored gun tip off and set it and its hardware aside. Next, you'll remove the gun pump. Use the T25 Torx security bit to remove the two screws. Take the two halves off and set them and the hardware aside. Lastly, you'll remove the butt of the gun. Use the T10 Torx security bit to remove the two screws. Slide the butt of the gun off and set it and its hardware aside. Once these three parts have been taken off the body of the gun, the screws holding the two gun halves together should be removed. Use the T10 Torx security bit to remove the 11 screws. One suggestion would be to remove the screws from left to right. Then, line them up in the order that you took them out, so you'll know where each screw goes when reassembling the gun. I had a little trouble taking out the two screws near the hose, so I left a space for them in the line for when I take them out later. Note that when removing these screws, the corresponding nuts might fall out. However, the 11 gun body screws all have the same nuts, so don't worry about keeping them in any order. Now that all the screws have been taken out or loosened, you'll be able to separate the two gun halves. Gently lift off the top gun half from the bottom. Take any screws out that you couldn't get out earlier and place them in the line. Now we have access to the camera. The camera is plugged into a zero insertion force socket, or ZIF socket for short, on the PCB. Before trying to unplug the camera, first you'll need to lift up a small latch. Here's a close-up view of the latch. Once the latch has been lifted up, the camera will unplug with ease. Do not use brute force to unplug the camera from the ZIF socket. If the camera won't budge, then you might not have done the previous step properly. Lift up the latch and take out the broken camera and replace it with the new camera. Plug the camera in and secure the connection by pushing the latch back down. If the PCB needs replacing, you'll need to remove the six screws holding it in place with a number one Phillips screwdriver. Take the two metal plates off as well. If you don't need to replace the PCB, you can click the link in the description to skip ahead. Once the PCB is free, you'll need to unplug it. This might require a little force. Plug a camera into the new PCB by following the steps from earlier. Make sure the two switches are resting in the grooves, plug the PCB in, and secure it in place using the plates and screws you took off earlier. If the hose was dislodged while disassembling the gun, put it back into place as shown. If the square IR filter lens is out of place, it goes right in front of the camera as shown. Lastly, if the pump rod assembly or the front pump stop was dislodged, you'll need to put it back in order for the gun pump to work properly. If the front pump stop is out of place, place it back as shown. The pump rod assembly has a few distinguishing features that can help us put it back correctly. First, there is a rectangular jut that needs to be facing outwards. Also, 
there is a cutout at the end of the rod that needs to be facing towards the top of the gun so that the switch works properly. Now that we know the orientation of the rod, we'll need to put the spring back into place. There are three half circle supports behind the slot cutout in the gun half. The white spring stop washer needs to rest against the thickest one, which is also the one closest to the slot. Compress the spring and make sure the white washer is against the correct support. Make sure that your placement of the pump rod assembly matches what is shown in the video. Now it's time to reassemble the gun. Take the top half and gently place it on top of the bottom half. While doing this, I recommend putting your finger through the slot near the front of the gun and holding the pump rod assembly down. This is so it doesn't pop out of place. Once you've lined the halves up, use the gun tip and the gun butt to hold the halves together. Slide the gun tip on. For the gun butt, the side that has more of a curve to it should be near the top of the gun. Slide the gun butt on. Once that's been done, reinstall the 11 gun body screws and nuts. Next, we'll need to reinstall the pump. The long side with ribs faces towards the bottom of the gun, and the short angled side faces towards the back of the gun. Put the two halves on and make sure the bottoms are connected. The two holes in the pump will line up with two of the holes in the pump rod. Secure the pump to the gun using the corresponding screws and nuts. Finally, secure the gun butt and the gun tip. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out by calling our technical support hotline or emailing rtsupport at betson.com.